What is up you guys and welcome back to Brittany Automotive. So the ugly stepchild is back on all four tires again, as you can see, but today we are going to be working on brakes. No. Holy crap. Oh, I have all my blood in my head. I might need a hammer get the pin out of the, yeah, the bolt to slide out. So the ugly stepchild is moving to manual brakes, which means that um, we got to change a couple different things. So this TBM kit is really helpful for that. And I will leave a link down below for you guys to get to it easily. So now that I've got the brake pedal off, it says to drill a hole that is two inches down and half an inch in. So we got that hole drilled and we are ready to install. Now I was gonna make a video doing this install, but I thought what better time than now with Rocky Mountain happening and what happened to Ellis George. If you guys have been keeping up on Cletus's page, Ellis George ended up in a field. In Cletus's video, Ellis George says that he's missing a lock, which I believe he's talking about this grommet. This grommet actually goes on this push rod right here. Let me just show you the difference really quick. If you have this push rod, it's got all that room to move. You put that grommet on, it sits in there very well. Now, another thing that we were talking about in the video was actually having a stop for your pedal. And I will get more into that once we are in the car. I need a chiropractor visit after this. Okay, so now we have our push rod poking out through the firewall right there, as you can see. Now, next step is this plate. This plate is gonna go onto the firewall and it will have bolts that go on the other side. And then after that gets put in, then the master cylinder will go through this hole and then you have two more bolts to put in. Come join me in my not-so-spacious, humble abode, and by that, I mean under that dash. I'm like a pro at this right now. I also want to make mention of another thing that they mentioned in Cletus's video, and it is actually this bracket. A lot of the times, a lot of this stuff gets taken out when you're trying to reduce weight in a race car, or just get rid of things that you feel are unnecessary. But this actually stops your brake pedal. So if I were to push this and release it, it's going to stop it. Whereas in the blazer, this brake pedal can fly all the way up here if it wanted to. So if you watch the rod that's actually in the master cylinder here, if I push it down. Now, if the stop wasn't here, this rod can come with the brake pedal out. And if it were to come out, then it will come out of the master cylinder. And then it's actually like, there's actually a lot of pressure inside of there. So it wouldn't easily go back in by itself. So for my line setup on the outside, I'm going to have my rears to the back and my fronts on the front side. And the rear is going to come straight off of there, right down to that brake line right there. My front brakes are a little more complicated. I'm going to run a line off of here into the line lock that'll be mounted somewhere down there. It'll come out of the line lock to this side of the brakes and then it will come out of the other side of this T and run along to the other side. So that is how the ugly step trout is going to be ran and we are working on getting the rest of the brake lines done so then we can get her moving. Before I end this video, I do want to say very, very thankful that Ellis George was okay. I know after watching Cletus's video, you can see that he is very, very scared. That is like the worst nightmare for a racer and luckily he was on a track that just had a very big shutdown area. Whether it's avoidable or not, losing brakes is a scary situation so 
Just thankful everyone's all right. Any of the motion parts that I use in this video will be linked down below. You guys literally could not go wrong with using Motion at all. They are a great company with even better owners and I highly recommend. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next week.